Hi, I'm Brian. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, honestly, I, I wanted to talk about the week I've had, or the weekend I've had, most of all, where, rather interestingly, I just felt like I needed a break. Um, and, you know, one big old story that I'll share with you right now is I used to work as a camp counselor in the United States. It was, um, well, if any of you have ever worked on a, a summer camp over in uh, over the summer, then, well, you know how much of a, a handful that can be. And basically, um, I managed to get myself into a odd position where uh, my shift, or my role, um, was basically uh, very, very vacant, where I was working the jobs of three people, basically. I was working in a horse riding stable, and there were supposed to be three of us, and there was only one. It was just myself, which was um, a little awkward. And the result of that was that I ended up just working myself a lot. And the weird thing was I didn't complain. I come from a hard, pretty hard-working family, very astute, very driven, and I just took it on the chin and said, you know what, I can handle this, it won't last forever, and I'll give it a lash. So I ended up working about two weeks, like two full weeks without uh, any day off at all. Uh, the camp was basically all I knew in the world, and I remember on the, the I think it was the 14th day or the 11th day or somewhere near the end of that two week madness where it was the 4th of July festival and we took the kids out to this uh, lake where we'd watch the, the fireworks over in uh, this was in Meredith, New Hampshire uh, which is a lovely little town by the way and I don't know if anyone from New Hampshire is listening or in that region but it's a quaint darling little area, if I do say so myself. But that uh, summer was just... I remember just everyone was looking up at the fireworks and I genuinely just felt like it felt awful. I was uh, pretty much in tears uh, just because I, I was exhausted. Uh, all my campers, all my other counselors were all uh, out having fun and partying, and here I was so absorbed with the work and so enamored by it that um, I basically didn't know any other way to live and I couldn't enjoy myself. And I felt like this past week has been challenging in the same way, where I've had maybe not a lot of physical work, like I don't feel like I've worked a tremendous amount of hours in my job. But I have just felt that same level of emotional, uh, how do I say it, e emotional exhaustion. And the more I do this, the more I realize that um, humans are very limited, like we're not computers. Uh, which, uh, you know, I, I always found that a very strange image, you know, the idea of we're not machines, we can't do everything forever uh, without exhaustion. You know, computers get exhausted as well. Like, machines have limits, machines break, machines wear down, machines have go through stress, cars go through stress, computers go through stress, most robots go through stress, and they need to be maintained, and they need to be taken care of, and warmed up, and cooled down, and all this jazz. <clears throat> and basically, I just found myself learning my limits. Uh, once again. So, I think for anyone listening here who's uh, a self, self-prescribed workaholic or a um, someone who's just insanely well-driven, uh, this is me, uh, a guy who, uh, admittedly, you don't know very well, <laughs> who's just giving you permission to take a little breather. You know, uh, understand that you don't have to do everything. No one, uh, hopefully, I mean, I don't know your situation, but it is important just to 
take a rest whenever you can. And that can mean a different thing for different people. Um, it could mean going out for a party. I'm Personally, I find parties to be quite uh, tiresome at times. Or it could mean going out for a walk. It could mean staying in and playing Elder Scrolls, which uh, the footage here, I'm, I've pretty much been doing that all weekend, so uh, that's the footage you're looking at. I thought I'd try something new. And essentially this is just me realizing it's all right to take a break and there shouldn't be any shame in it. It doesn't make you less of a genius or less worthy or you're, you're not of a weak breed. You're just a human being with limits and with uh, feelings and we all need a rest sometimes. So that's essentially the journey I've been going on. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this rather different approach to video making that I've been uh, putting out. Um, I want to see if I want to try out this format a little more. It feels a little more relaxed and intuitive. Um, I don't know if you guys care much about me playing Skyrim or what have you. Uh, feel free to judge me, but um, leave it in the comments. See if this is something you'd like to see more of, or uh, be brutally honest. Go ahead, tell me if you think, nah, I, I like the look of this guy's last stuff, so uh, you'll go with that, and sure, we'll go from there. So, um, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Outro.